Nolansville is known for its small town charm and big city convenience, so let's check out why. So Nolansville has really changed over the last, you know, several years. When I was back in high school, I had friends that lived in Nolansville, and man, they lived like out there. Those were like country bumpkins. It's really where we went to go hunting and uh, do a bonfire, camping, you know, might go mudding a little bit. That was Nolansville. Well, Nolansville has changed quite a bit. Although it has grown up over the years, it still is a little bit removed. It's certainly a suburb, has a little bit of a rural feel, and it's probably 40, 45 minutes to both downtown Nashville as well as the airport. What you need to know about the weather here in uh, Middle Tennessee, if you haven't been here, there are some days where we actually experience all four seasons in 24 hours. Today is a little bit like that. It started off in the 20s. We'll probably hit 60 by the afternoon. Got my uh, got my beanie on and might have to shed it by the end of the day. I'll say here in Nolansville, over the years, they have experienced slow, steady growth, largely due to the school systems that are highly rated here in Nolansville. Well, between 2020 and 22, there was a 45% growth in the population here in Nolansville. So massive, massive growth and also the prices really went up quite a bit, like most other places in uh, in Nashville and even across the country. But here's the deal. Nolansville, you can get a lot of bang for your buck, and I'll give you an example. For a 4,500 square foot, new, pretty nicely finished, maybe three car garage home in Nolansville, you're gonna pay about a million dollars less than you are in Brentwood or Franklin. So if that's something that you're looking to get, Nolansville might be a place you wanna check out. Right, and here's what you can buy for 840,000. It's a five bed, four bath, about 3,100 square feet and brand new. This home is four beds, two and a half baths, just under 2,000 square feet. It was built in 1998, so it's a little bit older, needs a little bit of updating, and it's only $542,000. And for $1.38 million, you can get this home. It is a five bed, four and a half bath, one of the larger home sizes anyways in Nolansville. It's about 4,500 square feet and brand new construction. Here in Nolansville, there is a lot of new construction going on. It is not hard to drive down the road and see big machinery, moving a lot of dirt, getting ready to build a brand new neighborhood. They're also building some of the essentials still, like a public grocery store that is coming soon on the south end of Nolansville. And with so much land undeveloped, there is a lot of growth yet to happen. All right, so there's a house in a neighborhood that we just drove through. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you who the builder was. I'm not even gonna show you the house, but it was genuinely one of the ugliest houses that I've, seen, I've seen in a beautiful neighborhood. So it has me kind of scratching my head and thinking about if I were to buy that home, I would be really, really concerned about resale. A tip is, Hopefully you're working with an agent to buy a home. When you're doing that, make sure you're working with somebody that understands future resale, that can point out those things inside and outside the home that are gonna help it maintain its value versus the things that when you go to resell it, it's just not gonna look good compared to other homes on the market. If you find this content helpful at all, please hit the like button, it would mean a lot, and it will help other people find this video and enjoy it just like you. So with this kind of population growth, it attracts more businesses, which is great. So there's more restaurants here than there used to be, and many of which are family friendly. When I was growing up and I'd be in Nolansville, really the only thing here was uh, the Sonic, which if you're into jalapeno poppers, they're delicious. Not a bad option, but we're glad that there are so many restaurants here now. And one claim to fame for the Nolansville community is Martin's Barbecue Joint. All right, so you really have a true entrepreneurial success story that started here in Nolansville back in 2006 with Martin's Barbecue Joint when they first opened. I can remember trying it all those years ago and thinking about how good it was. If you've never been here, you need to check it out and be sure to get the Redneck Tacos. This is where Pat Martin first got to share his passion for whole hog barbecue with the Nolansville community. And since then, he has won awards, he's authored a book, and he has been featured multiple times in Garden and Gun. His barbecue footprint now includes six locations uh, in the Middle Tennessee area, as well as three outside the state, and has truly become a barbecue icon. Hats off to Pat. I know the Nolansville community really appreciates you being here.
And you also have choices like a flavorful Vietnamese banh mi sandwich at Vu's, fresh Mexican at Oscar's Taco Shop, sushi with great service at Yuno Sushi, New York style pizza at Amico's, one of the kids' favorites, chicken from Outlanders, dressed up burger at Brothers, or some homemade Southern food at Wabash. If you want plenty of dining options, but don't really need like a foodie scene like we covered in East Nashville, then Nolensville might be a place for you. Another restaurant and claim to fame here in the Nolensville area is the Mill Creek Brewing Company. It's a family and pet friendly tap room with a full menu, including award-winning Smashville Burger, and they frequently have live music, trivia, and golf simulators available to reserve. Mill Creek Brewing in Nolensville now offers a lineup of 20 unique beers, including a unique chai PA, and the company continues to grow, and these brews can now be found in over 600 locations in Middle Tennessee. And if caffeine is more your thing, you can check out uh, House of Bread. You can go in there, hang out, get a loaf of bread to go. Or you can check out this place here, Itty Bitty Donuts. They have some specialty coffee and some of the most delicious and beautiful donuts anywhere in town. All right, when it comes to parks and things to do, you do have Nolansville Park here. They have youth football and youth baseball. If you don't know, Nolansville baseball, it's a big deal. Uh, they have had multiple showings in the Little League uh, World Championships, which is really, really fun uh, and awesome for the community here. Also here you have a trail around it for walking. You have a, you have a uh, playground and also a dog park, which is convenient for our dog lovers out here. So you do have a mile long-ish uh, trail that is paved, but that is about it other than for some independent neighborhood trails that you can kind of piece together on your own. Master plan is to include more greenways here in Nolensville with Brentwood and with Nashville, which just the idea of that is really, that would just be fantastic. However, that is gonna be way down the line before that actually comes to fruition. Okay, so what else can you do when it comes to fitness and just being active? There are a handful of gyms in this area. You have things like CrossFit and Burn Boot Camp, and then you also have Jiu Jitsu and boxing. Nolensville is east of Brentwood. It's south of Nashville. For years in the past, there was really not much development. There weren't a lot of neighborhoods between Brentwood and Nolensville and between you know, Nashville and Nolensville. Well, that has changed as we've talked about. There's a lot more homes now, and so, what you need to know is that if you're gonna be commuting, not working from home, but commuting into Brentwood or Nashville, kind of the last in line to get in, uh, you know, to get on the road. And so really the traffic can be a real headache because there's really one road north and south and one road east and west being Nolensville Road and Concord. So if you're not working from home and if you're gonna be commuting into those areas, it's probably gonna take 45 minutes to get you know, into Brentwood, and it could even take up to an hour or so to get to downtown Nashville during commute times. In terms of entertainment available, you're probably gonna be driving 20 to 25 minutes outside of Nolensville for a movie theater or anything like that. Nolensville really has a small town feel. I think that comes from just the population being small. You're at about, you know, 15,000 or so. You have antique shops. There's a historic area. The fire department is volunteer. You've got community ball fields and people here are just really good folks. You drive around and there's like basketball goals in everybody's driveway, it seems like. The residents here are just really invested into the community. When it comes to shopping, uh, you're probably going to be venturing out to other areas, you know, Franklin, Brentwood, Green Hills for things like uh, large clothing stores. But as the population here continues to grow, we'll see more shopping options here for some of those items that you know, you're gonna go to other areas for right now. Let's go in and see what they have. Howdy. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay. Can we come in? Sure. I just gotta put this out here, go ahead. There are a handful of really cool little shops locally owned and operated by locals. Uh, one being you can find some really unique toys at Nolensville Toy Store. Uh, you can find some cool gifts at Small Town Charm and a really great assortment of cool items at Village Antiques here right in the heart of Nolensville.
All right, so I'm married. We've got three kids. They're all school age. So like any parent, I want the best educational experience for my kids. And so that's why schools really matter. And that's one of the things that makes Nolan's also attractive with the highly rated K through 12 public system here. Uh, and my kids have various interests, whether it's football or band, and they have different friend groups. And those friend groups have birthdays and play dates and all the stuff that if you have kids you know about. And we're active in our church that we belong to. So all that to say our family is uh, we stay busy. So some of the additional entertainment options that other areas have, like a Franklin, that you don't find here in Nolensville really doesn't mean much to us if we were considering living in Nolensville. Because we're busy, we also tend to eat out a little bit more frequently than we used to and having uh, a lot of dining options is nice but they're also not fine dining so the cost isn't uh you know crazy high i could see my family living in nolensville so if you don't need a community that has uh additional entertainment and fine dining and a lot of high-end shopping or anything like that nolensville may be a great place for you to consider so if you're looking to buy a home in an area with a highly rated public school system, you might want to check out Nolensville. There's two elementary schools, two middle schools, and Nolensville High School, all of which are rated as an A or A plus on niche.com, which is just a really strong rating. It's no secret that parent involvement, engagement in a school system is a big factor in its success and the family parent involvement in Nolensville is really second to no other community in Nashville. It's great involvement and uh, is a parent on uh, Friday nights, you know, as an example. The sports here are, uh, are well supported and if you come by a football game here, the stands are absolutely filled to the brim. So it's just a really strong community in general, and especially when it comes to the school system. There are also a handful of really good preschool options throughout the community, if that's something that you're interested in. We release content like this every week, so if you found it helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Uh, this has been a video about Nolensville, so hopefully now you know if this is the right community for you, and whether you wanna move here or anywhere in Metro Nashville, a team and I would love to help you. We'll treat you like family and make sure you have a five-star experience. You can check out any of our 300 plus uh, Google reviews online to get, to get to know us a little bit. And if you want to reach out, you can find our text, email, uh, phone in the description below. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.